When it comes to a work-life balance, a proper work-life balance, the truth is it is going to take setting some boundaries. It is going to take a separation of your work from your personal life. And there are things that you can do to separate those two because the more that they are commingled, the harder it is to have a proper balance. For example, you may want to have a personal phone and a work phone. You may want to not have your work email app on your personal phone so that when you are on your personal time, you can focus on things that have to do with you individually outside of the workplace, outside of the office. And it's going to be really important that you put those boundaries in place because the truth is companies will work you to the point of inefficiency. You can be the most productive, the best, the most hardworking employee that ever existed. And the reward for doing great work is normally getting more work. So you could say, oh, you know, they'll say, oh, you're such a great employee. You did such a great job with this. Let me give you this. And then let me give you this. And then let me give you this and you've done all you've done a good job with those three things and then but they keep piling more stuff on and more stuff on and more stuff and then they just keep giving you more stuff until the point that you're no longer efficient and then they'll say oh you're such a terrible employee why can't you get all this work done it's like well you've given me 15 different things that were outside of my normal job duty <laughs> outside of my normal job so of course you know so anyway this is a tough truth like there's nothing wrong with wanting promotion and wanting more responsibility, but make sure that if you do want that, that it's going in the direction that you want it to go into. So here's the tough truth for today.